If you've played League of Legends recently, you've probably run into one of the many, 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 many AD casters and assassins that are ban-worthy and dominating the meta. AD caster champions and anyone else who can abuse the new lethality stat are the kings of League of Legends at the moment, but if you're like me and you don't play too many assassins or AD casters yourself, you may have no idea where these champions came from and how lethality became so good. So today we're going to talk about that. It's a little more complicated than the average buffer and nerf to a stat or champion in League of Legends usually, so let's go ahead and jump right in. Starting from the very beginning, what is lethality and where did it come from? Lethality is a stat that Riot implemented three or four months ago where they basically replaced the armor pen stat with it. If you want armor pen on a champion, instead of just building armor pen, you now build lethality that converts to armor pen depending on where you're at in the game. The TLDR that Riot Axes gave Reddit for what the stat is was, it makes you better at murdering low armor opponents. If someone isn't building armor and they're just relying on the base armor their champion has, you can build a ton of lethality, shred through that, and make your abilities deal close to true damage. That's what the stat is for and when you should build it. However, you may be asking, why did we have to change everything though? Isn't that what Armor Pen was doing already? Well, that's true, but Riot wasn't entirely happy with how armor penetration builds were working out in games. For the most part, it was a very polarizing stat. An assassin could get a ton of flat armor pen in the early game with items like Yomu's and snowball super hard before anyone could build extra armor or defensive items, but at the same time, those assassins who typically built armor pen really fell off hard if they didn't get that early snowball and didn't finish their items until the enemy team is already stacked up with a ton of armor and health. To fix these problems, Riot created a new stat, Lethality, that could scale. This formula is how it worked. To calculate the armor penetration that your champion effectively has, take your Lethality and multiply it by 0.4 plus 0.6 times your target's level divided by 18. The math is kind of confusing if you're an idiot like me, but all you really need to know is that one lethality will equal one armor penetration when your opponent reaches level 18, and the earlier levels scale up to that. You get the flat 0.4 of your lethality no matter what, but the other part is what scales with your opponent's level. So while at level 18 your lethality has 100% effectiveness, essentially being armor penetration, at level 1 you only have 43.3% effectiveness. This fixes the problems that Riot had with the old armor armor pen stat, if you're super far ahead on an AD caster now, you don't get to build flat armor pen in items to destroy underleveled opponents. If the opponent you're trying to kill is super underleveled, your actual penetration won't shred their armor quite as hard because it scales with their level. Now because this was essentially a bit of a nerf to early game armor pen, Riot had to make some changes to make sure it's still a viable thing. They introduced a new item, Edge of Night, a new lethality item that also has a bunch of other really good stats and an incredibly good active as well. And they also gave a few buffs and changes to the old lethality items like Yomu's no longer gives attack speed but it's a much cheaper item and Duskblade is super different but it gives more lethality up to 15 from the old 10 armor pen. So when did things get broken? Well, everything got crazy after Riot gave a massive buff to lethality. In patch 7.2, Riot swapped these two numbers in the formula. Now, the base lethality that you get is 0.6, and the scaling part is the 0.4 instead of the other way around. This means at level 1, where you used to only have 43.3% effectiveness, you now have 62.2% effectiveness in your armor penetration, whereas with the old formula, you didn't get that until level 7. Now lethality is suddenly a really good option to go for on all the AD casters out in the early game. You can rush a Yomu's and a Duskblade, which remember, both of them got buffs to compensate for the initial lethality changes, along with the Edge of Night, which on its own is a really, really, really good item. I mean, free Banshee's Veil every 30 seconds, activated whenever you want. With so many lethality options in the game, an AD caster who snowballs the early game can get these items before their opponent has a chance to build any armor, and they'll be dealing close to true damage with their abilities. Think about how insane that is. That would be like if AP casters, like Syndra, just started dealing true damage with her ultimate if she wins for some very cheap and rushable items in the early game. The damage that these guys put out is so strong in the early game, 
it's almost impossible to deal with and the scaling part of that equation that was supposed to balance all of this out seems more and more inconsequential. At this point, lethality is causing the exact problems it was introduced to the game to hopefully fix. So then, how do we fix all these new problems? Well, I really don't know. Riot could just revert all these changes and go back to the old lethality formula, but maybe lethality was a garbage stat and all these items sucked because of that old formula and it actually did need a buff. I mean, I don't know if these champions were bad before that big lethality buff. Maybe that's why they had to make the buff in the first place. They could try tweaking the formula a little more, but I think the real problem is the items themselves. Edge of Night in particular is such a good item that maybe it should at least have its active nerf just a little bit. Then again though, you could say the same for these items. Both Edge of Night and Duskblade of Draxar got buffed in the most recent patch, the same 7.2 patch. An interesting fix that Riot could try is they could try buffing early game defensive items, like maybe giving Dorn's Shield a little bit of armor or introducing some other new early game armor items. So if your opponent is stacking lethality, you can delay your own build with some defensive stuff and you'll survive more assassinations, but you'll have to make that trade off for your damage. I don't know, that's just a thought. Either way, it seems like Riot is kind of happy with where lethality is right now and they don't seem to plan on nerfing the stat in the immediate future. I hear there are some nerfs to some of the casters, the AD casters that are becoming a problem because of lethality. They have some nerfs on the PBE that might be coming up in the next patch, which is a little bit unfortunate. I hope Riot doesn't do the Talia thing where they nerf all the champions and then they nerf, nerf the items and the lethality and everything that made them so good, giving them twice as many nerfs as they needed and making them completely unplayable after it all. Anyway though, I hope this video was able to help you understand these changes a bit more if you're a bit of an idiot like myself and you didn't get them for the longest time. Feel free to leave a comment if you agree or disagree or you know maybe you think lethality is fine and doesn't need any changes and you think all these champions are perfectly balanced, you can go ahead and leave that if that's your opinion because you're a Jin main. But anyway, I hope you guys all enjoyed watching today's video. I will of course see you all tomorrow. Until then, thank you very much for watching, good luck in solo queue, and have a wonderful day.